On Savannah Inthalangzi's inaugural day of high school in Mesquite, Texas, she and her mother decided to celebrate with a delightful ice cream outing. Naturally, they marked this special occasion with a selfie, proudly showcasing their delectable treats to the camera. Little did they know that this charming tradition would later evoke tears from many who viewed it. In 2014, the teenage Inthalangzi began her journey at John Horn High School. On her first day, she and her mother, Falana Foster, indulged in ice cream simply because they both enjoyed it. Their joy radiated in the selfie they snapped. What was equally evident was the strong bond between them. We were really close, Inthalangzi told Fox 4 in May 2018. She didn't like that I called her my best friend. She would always say, we're not friends because I'm your mom, but I called her my best friend. Inthalangzi quickly conceived a new tradition. Her idea was to take similar selfies with her mother on the first and last days of each school year, extending this delightful ritual until graduation. This tradition also meant indulging in a sweet treat at least twice a year. True to their promise, they continued taking these pictures during Inthalangzi's sophomore year, even though their choice of snacks sometimes varied. For instance, in the sophomore selfies, Foster seemed to have replaced her ice cream with a soda. By their junior year, Starbucks treats took center stage, with Foster enjoying her favorite drink, a green tea frappuccino. The images also subtly show the change in seating positions in the car. However, as junior year drew to a close, a significant change occurred. Foster had lost all her hair, presumably due to her health condition. Yet the mother and daughter remained full of joy, undeterred by the challenges they faced, committed to their cherished family tradition. At the start of Inthalangzi's senior year in high school, Foster was once again seen with a full head of hair, and the green tea frappuccino had become a constant companion. In all respects, there was little to foreshadow the heartbreak that awaited their final selfie. In their last photograph, Inthalangzi sat beside a gravestone, holding a drink and smiling at the camera. On the headstone, marked Foster, rested a green tea frappuccino. Tragically, Inthalangzi's mother had passed away in December 2017 at the age of just 45. Foster had been diagnosed with ovarian cancer when Inthalangzi was still in the sixth grade. Ovarian cancer, a devastating disease, is among the most common forms of cancer affecting women, targeting the ovaries, the reproductive organs housing a woman's supply of eggs. The insidious nature of ovarian cancer makes it challenging to detect early, often masquerading as less severe conditions like irritable bowel syndrome. This delay in diagnosis contributes to many cases being identified too late for effective treatment. Falana Foster had been battling ovarian cancer for more than five years. Those closest to her had held onto the hope that she would witness her daughter's high school graduation. However, tragedy struck on December 19, 2017, when Foster suffered a devastating brain aneurysm. Inthalangzi recounted to CBS 11 News in May 2018 that her mother went into a coma on her way to the hospital following the aneurysm. She explained to Fox 4, it was kind of a combination of that and ovarian cancer that she went into a coma, and then she passed away. Fortunately, Foster had the opportunity to experience a portion of her daughter's graduation journey. We took my senior pictures during the summer before, so she did get to see me in my cap and gown, Inthalangzi told CBS 11 News. She was excited. The mother and daughter had even planned a Hawaiian-themed celebration for the big day. In memory of her mother, Inthalangzi shared all their selfies on Twitter after her final day of high school. She wrote, For four years I've taken pictures with my mom on my first and last days of school. She wasn't able to make it for the last one, but her strength motivated me to stay strong during this time. All of my hard work is for her. The heartfelt tweet resonated with countless people online, amassing over 730,000 likes and retweets since its posting. Many of the 2,700 commenters offered their condolences and best wishes. Even Starbucks joined the conversation, expressing, Your mom is very proud of you. Congrats on all your accomplishments. The overwhelming response brought tears of both sorrow and contentment to Inthalangzi. She later shared on Twitter, The replies have me crying because I never noticed our close bond showed through like this, and I'm so glad it did. Inthalangzi also conveyed to Fox 4, I'm glad she's proud of me. I can feel she's proud of me. 
Now that Infilangsi has completed high school, her future plans are intertwined with honoring her late mother. She aspires to continue her education and earn a bachelor's degree from the University of North Texas in Denton. As she explained to CBS 11 News, Foster never got her bachelor's degree to teach education, but she was able to teach at daycares, and I always said that I wanted to get my bachelor's degree, and I always said that I loved education too. Inthalangsi's path forward is clear, inspired by her mother's legacy. For now, Inthalangsi can take solace in the knowledge that her heartfelt tribute to her mother has touched the hearts of thousands, and Foster would undoubtedly be proud of her for using their special bond to spread love and positivity online.